Hello everyone. We're here with Randy and Savannah. We're gonna do some lesson activities with trees today. Yeah. And so the first thing we gotta do is we're going on an adventure and we're gonna collect a bunch of different types of leaves and needles and things from trees so we can see if we can figure out what the trees are. All right, Savannah, let's start. Which one are we gonna to go to first? That one. So she's jumping up here. So what she's gonna do? Show us a minute what you're doing. Hello. We're not just gonna take one leaf. We're gonna take. A yep. Hey. Kind of where it attaches. So the hey. cool thing is you have to have more than one. And you have to kind of see how they alternate on the branch hey. or how they're opposite on the branch. And there's another one she has. Hold still. This one looks like it's alternating too. All right. So put them in the bag. We got two trees down. Let's go to the next tree. Well, I, this is the way I know. Road. There you go. So she's pulling it back a little bit farther on the branch. This one blooms flowers. So this Ooh. is a special tree. Perfect. Put it in the bag. They're very really smelly flowers. What's this one? This Let's get this one. Randy, come on. Yeah, you don't need too much of that one. That one's kind of pokey. Yeah. Do you need some help? Yes. Okay, there you go. Go a little bit lower where it, right here. A little bit lower where it's softer. Got it. Okay. Come on, trees. These are like these are like. These are, aren't the ones you use for Christmas trees, but the other ones are. Ooh, maybe. Don't you be giving away clues. Put that in our bag. Okay. So how many do we have so far? I have one, two, three, four, I think five different leaves. Yeah. Okay, let's find some over here. Let's do this one right here. Can you reach this one, Savannah? Um, no. If I pull oh, this one are, down, these are, these Shh, don't tell us what it is. Can some. you grab one? Yeah, berries on it. Now you want to try to take a spot that isn't a big spot but on the branch. It's hard to break. You don't want to cause damage to the tree. We just want to borrow a little piece so that we can try to do some identification. They're just so picky about this. This one will not work. Yes, it will. Pull. It's pulling all the skin off it. Let me help you. Let go. Yeah, I got go, so I got two. Like... I got two. Ooh, Whoa. thank you. Put them in the bag. Boing. Here you go. Randy, you want to get this one? I just got. I just found uh, this tree. Yeah. Had, this is soft bark. bark. Okay, put it in the bag. Randy, grab this one. This is soft bark. Nice. Randy. These are Randy. so pokey. They will if you grab a big piece. You grab at the end where they're softer. So when you're looking for trees, guys. I found a pokey one. You want to make sure you get a big enough one where you can sample. Ow. Got to get at the pokey. end. And you want to make sure you can get. Oh. Got it. Gosh. Some leaves and where it is on the branches. Let's go over here and look for some more. All right, we found some more trees. This one looks really complicated. Oh, these one have the spinny things. Ooh, spinny things. That's a little telltale the sign. Helicopters. And you know what else? We gotta talk about the difference between. Put that in there. There you go. Single and compound leaves. So that looks confusing. All right, Savannah. What about this one? Let's hey, get this yeah. one. This is a... Uh, Let's grab some of these. Do we already have this tree? Oh, it changes colors. Ooh, it does. So grab oh, one little branch there. Remember, if you two. get towards the bottom, they're not as pokey. No pokey. Just like a fish, right? You got to smooth the needles or the scales one way so you don't poke yourself. Alrighty, so we went on a scavenger hunt and we found a bunch of different trees, little branches with leaves to show where they're all attached. And Savannah and Randy picked a whole bunch of different types. So the first thing you guys have to do is make two piles, which kind of look alike and the others will look a little different. Okay, so go ahead, 
start making two piles. All right, so Savannah's got two piles. She's got one that are kind of flat and, what did you call them? Flat and like a regular leaf. Okay, regular, soft. Mm -hmm. And then ones that are like what? Pokey and hard and that hurt. All right, so now we got these two words right here. And these are pretty funny words. One says deciduous and one says coniferous. But so these, are... yeah, these two words are different. Which type of leaves do you think is deciduous? Which type of leaves do you think is coniferous? This one's never this. So we put the pokey ones by coniferous, Savannah? Uh-huh. And, and the soft ones by deciduous. Why did you decide that? Because coniferous kind of sounds like it would be pokey. And this kind of um, sounds like it would be flat leaves and regular leaves. Okay, so let me tell you like a clue, okay? Take this little highlighter and underline the first three letters of coniferous. I want one. You can have the orange one. Okay, con. so con kind of sounds like cone with me, right? Okay, so now this I one I don't have a good clue on, D-E-C. Okay, so here's how I remember it. So con, like coniferous, kind of sounds like cone. And anything that has like a pine cone keeps their needles year round. They call them like an evergreen. Okay, this one, deciduous. Okay, deciduous. These are the flat, regular leaves you call them, the soft ones. Mm -hmm. So by December, these trees will have no leaves on them. So deciduous trees lose their leaves after the season's over. So you guys see these ones turning colors in the fall. And by December, there's no leaves on the trees. And these coniferous or conifer trees these ones are green year-round. You drawing us a picture, Andy? <laughs> it's a house. Beautiful. So <laughs> now you got two types of trees. So when you guys are looking in your yard, you can look for the ones that look like they have needles or they're pokey, and those ones will keep them year-round. Those are called coniferous. coniferous. And these ones that are soft, flat, they lose them after they change colors in the fall, those are called deciduous. So that's the first part of activity. It's kind of fun. You guys can check out these things around your house. Okay, so the next thing that we talked about when we were out collecting was the difference between a simple leaf and a compound leaf. So looking real close, this one could confuse people because people might think there's a bunch of little individual leaves, but that's actually one compound leaf where it attaches right here at the base, has several different little leaflets on it. And then this one is a definition of a simple leaf because where it attaches at the base, there's just one little leaf on it. So Savannah, what did you bring up about this plant? It has the helicopters. In, in the helicopter down here where it gets hard, there are seeds. And in the seeds, I'm guessing in the seeds, the seeds can help make a new tree. Correct. So the cool thing about these little things that you keep calling them helicopters, pull one off. Helicopters are found on this tree that has compound leaves and this tree that has the simple leaves. So they're related. I built this by myself. One second, Rand. They're related. So do you know what type of tree this one is? It looks like a maple tree. There's a bunch of different types of maples, but maples have the helicopters. And so that is what a we maple tree would look like. My we do. This. And this one is a compound leaf, but has helicopters. Mm. So this one is actually related. This is called a box elder. Whoa. And this what? one is called a maple. And they both have the helicopters. They both have the same. If you look close where they're attached, the leaves. That's not a good one to see right there. Let's look right here. See how where they're attached? Move your finger. Right here, they're opposite of each other. So the little leaves are going to attach opposite on the branch. This one's going to be the same way. See how the little leaves right here are opposite? Maple trees are like that. So maple trees are opposite. Okay, let's look at our next type. So we don't really have a simple compound example for this one. But this one was Savannah's favorite. So we wanted to include that one. And this a one is tree. my favorite. A little tree kind of like hangs like a vine. 
And if you grab a bunch of them, you can swing on them. They're pretty sturdy. That's cool. And this one's my favorite. What type of tree is this? Do you know? Uh, these and are pokey another trees. Maple. They're a these are maple pokey tree. trees. Kind of confuses you, right? See how this one is alternate? It goes there, there, mm -hmm. there. They zigzag. The branches zigzag. Mm -hmm. That's actually an oak tree. This one's alternate. Yeah. Yeah. This is an alternate tree. branching pattern. And the willow tree does too. See where all the little leaves are? They're alternate. Some people call the willow maybe a compound because they're so complex. You can grab a bunch and swing on. But it just gives you an example of how this one is alternating. And the same with this oak tree. But you're not going to have that in the maple. This one has like a little bud in between every branch. What is that? That is a good idea of where we're going to help reproduce maybe more trees. So the buds are real important. And you're going to have a buds. bud? A, a bud can fly berry hats and can eat berry sass and like that. Not a bug with a G. It's a bud with a D. A bud, B-U-D, bud. Buds make more trees. Bud. Very cool. All right, so all the leaves we were just checking out with opposite and alternate budding and branching patterns, those are for deciduous. What does a deciduous mean again? I forgot. They lose their leaves, right? Yeah, they lose all their leaves and they, they grow back. Yep, so come December, they're going to have no leaves on the trees. No leaves. But these guys, do you remember what these ones are called? They are considuous, oh. which means they have their leaves all year round, kind of like an evergreen tree. Evergreen is right. The con part is right. Coniferous. You're so close. So these ones have cones. These ones don't have buds. They have cones. So Savannah has these in her hand right now. What do those feel like? They, they don't feel pokey like these ones, but they are, they're kind of like a long line on the top. They're not really hard. Hard, but they hurt. Okay, so let me help you out with this. This is a pine tree, mm -hmm. and, and where you look to where these attach, they call that a fascicle. So if I pull one of these off of the fascicle, count how many are right there. Five. Five. So that is a white pine. W H I T E. E. Five. White. White pine. That'll help you remember. There's a White. red pine, there's a jack pine, all kinds of pines, but pines have needles. Oh, on top of the pine like tree, this. it looks like it's a whole nother tree because it's a little brighter. But there's like a stem at the bottom. There's like a stem at the bottom, and then there, there, there are less trees. Okay, so this is a different one. Let's look at this one real quick. Tell me about what you saw with that uh, one, speaking of colors. This one. Near like the when it gets thicker, it was a darker color, but when it gets thinner, it was a brighter color. So pine trees have needles. This mm -hmm. one is called spruce. So they're individual little looking needles. And they have a lot of them, and they hurt. They have a lot of them. They're usually sharper. They're shorter. So this is a spruce tree. Okay, these ones. These ones are pretty flat. You talked about these ones being. Pokey the pine trees, the conifers. Really that one doesn't feel so hard. Yeah. Randy was going to say, Randy, what did you want to say about this tree? Planting a make them big and strong. But it feels like a what, Randy? Sometimes people can put them down with their hands. And, and it they feels feel like, like a, a a big mountain. A fan. A fan. Yeah. So these flat scales, and these ones are usually called cedar trees. Flat scales are usually white, and they could be like a fan. Oh, and they're not that pokey. So you have needles, scales, oh, sorry, Fans. needles, and these and individual, one, one second, needles and scales, mm. and they're all different for sure. That one's pokey, they're isn't it? This one is very pokey. It hurt. To, it was hurt. It yep, my student it. gun cut. So sometimes they're mm -hmm. sharp, sometimes they're what? soft. Just depends. But these ones are conifers, and they don't lose Spinning. their needles, or their scales. Mm -hmm. This one doesn't hurt at all. All right, guys. You know what I forgot to ask you? What are your favorite things to do with trees? Uh, my trees. My favorite trees helping trees be that get broke or get a broken leg. Or get a broken root. So, I'm a dentist. So trees help you maybe make crutches? Maybe trees help you make tools for the dentist? Is that what you're saying? 
Yeah. So trees can be very helpful. What do you think, Savannah? I, I, my favorite thing to do with trees is I like to look at the different kinds of leaves and I like to climb trees. Climbing trees. Randy, you like to climb trees. I, climb to I like climbing trees. Every time I see a tree, I climb it. Got to be careful though, don't you? Yeah. Sometimes. Trees give us shade. Trees give us, like we said, build things. So this is a really cool word. Let me see this real quick. This word is dendrochronology. So read it to me, Savannah. Can you read it? Dendrochronology. So that's a big word. Do you have any guess what that means? No. No, me neither until we start studying it, right? Take your first color and underline the dendro part. Big words, if you break them down, they're easier to understand. Okay, next color, the cron part. And the next color is the allergy part. Where's my green? So anything that talks about allergies, the study of. Have you ever heard of words that end with allergy? No. Biology, Bio. astrology, yeah. meteorology, anything with allergy, right? Okay, so what Savannah just did was she underlined three parts of the word. The dendro, Randy. Cron and the allergy. Yep, the dendro means trees. Cron is for time, like chronic, like time. And then allergy is a study of. So it's the study of the age of trees. Crazy. So what Savannah and Randy have right now is a rock. And we made it look like a tree. I do that. Sit up here, Randy. And if you were to cut down a tree, you would see what, Savannah? You would see rings. And if you count the rings, I don't think you include the middle, but if you count the ring, it tells you hey, each ring is a year. So we'll just, if this was a real tree, it would be one year, two years, three years, four years, five years, six years old. Very good. Yep, chronology, dendrochronology is a study of the age of trees. And it's the rings. And you're right, you don't count the very center. The very center is like the starting point. You don't count that. And then the very edge where the bark is, the shaggy line I made is the bark. So count the rings out from the center dot, Savannah. And do you still get six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. You're not counting the bark, right? Oh, no. Don't count. Five. Five. What about this five. one? Randy, can we count the rings on this one? one Savannah will two. help you. Start at the middle. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Five. Five. Okay, five, let's five. do it together again. One. Randy, count. One, two, one, two three, three, four, five, six. Just five because that's the bark, right? Mm -hmm. Are both these trees five years old? One, two, three, four, five. Five, five, five. So wait a minute. If they're both five, neither one is a perfect circle. Sometimes this one's so big and this one's not. They're not really the they're not really a perfect square, so there might be, if this was a real tree, it might be six, it might be seven, it might be five, you never know. So it depends on when they start growing. If these two trees were the same type tree, let's say they're both maple, right? Even though they're not perfect circles, even though they're not the same size, look at the rings are even different shapes. It doesn't matter. Maybe it's something to do with the environment. Maybe they're crowded. Maybe they don't have enough sun, enough water. So dendrochronology is the study of the age of trees. Okay, so here's our little maple tree again. Remember that leaf we found? Mm-hmm. Randy, do you think you could count those rings with Savannah? Oh, one, two, three, no, four. Not the leaves. Oh, we, we do have a lot one, of leaves, but what I'm trying two, to say is, three, look at all the four. rings on that. How hard would that be to count? One. Shh. You're counting the leaves, right? Here, Randy, here's another type of tree. This one's like a poplar tree. No! Can you count those rings? I can't. This they're, one's really hard. They're too hard. No, no, no. Okay, then we'll save it for Savannah. There's four. Good I'm golly. Not. See, there's a lot. I don't four. know if there's four there. One, two, three. Oh, four. this one, this one's a hickory tree. Look at how different this tree is to this one. You're probably not going to be able to count them all this fast as we're going, but look how much the color changes. Yeah, which, and, he, and the rings are getting thicker. Is this, are which really one's thick. easier to count? This one. <laughs> so sometimes darker woods are easier to count. Sometimes if they're more healthy, the rings are more pronounced. These ones are both kind of hard to count, but I would agree that one's probably easier than the other one. Okay, so we get the 
What is it, hickory and maple out of the way? Look at this big one. Did these leaves That's tell like you? That's like a thousand years old. Did these leaves tell you what that tree is? What's this tree? Uh, oak. See, there's those leaves oak. again. This is probably, I'm estimating. Mm. So this is probably, I'm guessing, 100, 200 years old. So trees can live a really long time. And the scientists can go around and study all the rings. Look at this one. This is a different one Randy had. They can count all the rings, but what if they are, have a hard time seeing the rings? Mm -hmm. So sometimes they can use a tool mm -hmm. or a like magnifying a magnifying glass, a magnifying glass, some way to see the lines, or you can actually measure how wide the tree is and learn how old it is, maybe by how wide the tree is. But that's more of a guess because trees could be different sizes, right? Mm -hmm. These two are the same tree, and look how different they look. These two aren't the same tree, but this one is still bigger. So we're not telling people to go around mm -hmm. chopping down trees, but if you guys heat your house with wood, or if you have trees that fell down in your woods, check out Dendrochronology. You guys can go count the rings, have some fun, ID some trees, and get yeah, outside. Yeah. What do you think, Randy? Can we get up? You want to get up now? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.